Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jackie Adams, Director of Art and Learning here at the Columbia Museum of Art, and I want to welcome each and every one of you here to the museum today for our free concert um, in partnership with the University of South Carolina, the School of Music. Uh, you're, in a tr you're, you're in for a, such a treat today. Um, these composition students are graduate level students who have been working all semester on a very special project. They were particularly inspired by the feature exhibition that we're hosting right now called 30 Americans. And if you haven't seen it, after you hear these uh, original composition scores, I hope you'll take time to go in and check out the artwork as well, because it really is pretty spectacular. The social and civic justice, um, moving bridges, I believe? Bridging our distances. Bridging our yes. distances, thank you. Thank yeah. you, Claire. Bridging our distances. Uh, is an initiative at the university that looks at social and civic justice through the arts. These kinds of themes have been uh, prominent, prevalent, and very popular in the arts uh, sector. So it's really wonderful to see how our different educational institutions are embracing artists who are really exploring these themes that you'll see in 30 Americans as well. So I just really want to congratulate these students. They have worked all semester. We've had a couple of in-person sessions with the art and so on, and I just want to thank you all for the time and the effort and the energy that you've put into this. We are incredibly proud of your creativity and honored um, to be able to experience it today. So congratulations, and thank you. Thank you, Jackie. And we want to thank Jackie for being such a wonderful partner and everyone here at CMA. My name is Claire Bryant and I'm the assistant professor of cello at the University of South Carolina and also the, the director of Bridging Our Distances, which is the community engagement arm at the School of Music. And not only do we open our doors to you and welcome you into our community, we are really wanting to bring music into the community. And that's what we're here to do today. And not just to bring music, but to collaborate with other art forms that are happening around us. So when I heard that 30 Americans was coming to the museum, I cold called Jackie and said, could we do something? And then I talked to our wonderful uh, de uh, department, uh, composition department director John Fitz Rogers, can the composition department do something, and then lots of faculty and their graduate ensembles. So today you're going to hear 18 new works. Each one is based, uh, the composer got to choose which artwork from the collection over here that they wanted to respond to with music. So this is from canvas to score. And the only rules were that it had to be two minutes or less, and they had to say what they wanted to say and respond to these art, wonderful, impactful uh, art pieces uh, made by 31 of the most notable black uh, artists uh, of our time. And um, each composition we're going to have projected here. So I invite you, if you don't have a great view, please feel free to stand up, uh, mill around. Um, as to be able to see the, the artwork. Um, but uh, I'm rambling now, I do apologize. Um, the, the ensembles that you have up here today are the New Sound String Trio, and then we have the Fuse Ensemble. These are both graduate level ensembles, and then you'll hear from a new faculty quartet called the Bourbon Quartet. And then finally, to close the program, will be the Collective, which is also one of our uh, other wonderful graduate ensembles. So if you, See the program, you're going to read from left um, to right, directly to the right. So you're gonna hear from the new sounds, then you're going to hear a piece from the fuse and, and et cetera. And then you'll hear from the bourbon quartet and then on the back, you will hear the last nine pieces. So thank you so much for being here today and thank you, Jackie. And we're just thrilled with this wonderful audience and I really, really encourage you to go see this fabulous exhibition. It is so colorful and vibrant and powerful and we hope the music reflects that as well. So thank you so much.
This next piece deserves a brief word of explanation. Uh, the painting and the piece are both about, uh, among other things, the idea of cultural appropriation. Uh, and Uncle Nearest, uh, from the work's title, is the black uh, African American who taught Jack Daniels how to distill Tennessee whiskey. And it's one of these many stories that have been, been lost to history. Um, so this work is in, uh, in homage of that. And we happen to have some very significant uh, elements of the piece that are indeed required in the score. <laughs> so I'm gonna set up a little bit here, make sure we have our appropriate glasses. So this is Uncle Nearest uh, 18, 1856 premium whiskey. I should say also that the uh, Eric Duncan, the composer, happens also to be one of the owners of Bourbon Restaurant. Mm
them together because they're based on the same uh, set of paintings. They're both based on the Erasure series. Um, and to us, they, they both sort of had a an introspective and a more um, inwardly looking uh, character to them. So you'll also notice that we're setting up in a way that our backs are going to be to the audience, and that's very intentional. We're playing it, like I said, much more introspective and into the ensemble as opposed to from the ensemble to the audience. And we will play them back to back, so we'll acknowledge both composers at the end.
Before we play our last piece, um, on behalf of this ensemble, all the ensembles, the Art Museum, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for supporting this initiative. Thank you to Jackie and the Art Museum for hosting us and to Claire Bryant for dreaming up this wild initiative. Thank you so much. This is Embarrassment of Hamburgers. Go look at the exhibit.